Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the n integers as input and print yes if it is possible to split the n integers into three parts whose sums are equal else print no so first we are going to accept n integers and then we should print yes if it is possible to split the n integers into three parts whose sums are equal else we must print no so now we we'll take our first test case. So in this test case, we'll split this up into three parts whose sums should be equal. So we have zero, eight, and then minus six five and minus three so we have minus six here and here we have only five and minus three then we have four one three so now we can see that after splitting up the sum here is 2 and here is 2 and here also we get 4 plus 1 plus 3 uh, so here it is minus 3 so 4 plus 1 plus minus 3 is also 2 so we are getting sum as equal so we should print yes as the output So now we'll take our another test case. So in this test case, it is not possible to split the n integers into three parts and make the sum equal. So we must print no. So there is no possible parts splitting. So we must print no as the output. So now we'll understand the logic of this program. So two loops. So one is in one and another is in two, which is greater than in one have three parts in which the first part so the first part will have the integers still index one and in the second part it has the integers from that is integers from index one and 
So here it is in 1 minus 1 and here we have in 1 2 in 1 2 minus 1. So in the third part we have integers from in 2 to n. So we will check whether each part has a single that is each part is not empty and also check the check their sum as asked we must print the output so two loops one is in one another one is in two which is greater than in what so i have three parts in which the first part will have integers till in one minus one and in the second part we have from in one to in two minus one and in the third part we have integers from in two to n and we will check whether each part is not empty and also check their sum as asked so i can print the desired output now let us implement our program first we'll get our total number of integers and then we'll get the integers and after this we'll iterate over the loops so our first loop is for in one in range 0 comma n and the second loop is for in two in range in one plus one so now it is up to n so now we have part one part two part three so so we'll specify each part so in part one it is from zero to in one minus one and part two it is from in one to in two minus one so in part three it is in two colon which represents in two to n so now we are going to check whether each part is not empty and also their sum should be equal so if part 1 and part 2 and part 3 and the sum so if part 1 is not empty and then only it will go to check the next condition that is part 2 so and then part 3 and then we have the sum condition where we have sum of part 1 equal to equal to sum of part 2 and that is equal to equal to sum of part 3 so if it is true means we must print yes and exit so in the else part we must print no so now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output now we'll pass our another test case here also we have got the correct output there is no as you can see the three parts will not form the equal sum our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.